Once you're comfortable with the routine needed to best balance creating resources with villagers' happiness, Anno 1800's best elements show themselves to you. This seventh iteration of the long-running colony management series goes back to its origins, trading in the futuristic setting of the last two entries for the more traditional sales, schnapps, and sugarcane. The change of setting doesn't instantly make it better by itself, but it is refreshing and supports a fun, real-time strategy game. The complex and satisfying routine in Anno 1800 is built upon the creation and collection of various resources that you need to keep the inhabitants of your island colony happy. It's a constantly evolving puzzle that plays out on three levels, production lines, trade routes, and town layouts. The city building routine in Anno 1800 is hypnotizing. All the available pieces come together to give you the tools to build a massive city and produce goods to offer in trade to one or more of the AI players. Breaking ground on multiple new projects while keeping your income in the green is a very different but equally rewarding test of skill compared to a first-person shooter's killstreaks. Trading is key in Anno 1800, and therefore so is diplomacy with your diverse AI opponents. The options to offer monetary gifts or flattery aren't guaranteed to elicit a positive response, however, which adds to the feeling that the AI isn't just a reactive force for you to manipulate. For newcomers, this isn't an easy game to get the hang of, but trial and error and learning from mistakes is part of the fun. The higher difficulties test your learning by giving you less money and fewer refunds when demolishing buildings. At its hardest, you must play with a quick eye for the fastest route to the most efficient layouts. Anno 1800 delivers an above average but incomplete set of tutorials. Very simple layouts are explained over various quests and even basic elements of the UI, but the process barely explains the expansion and trade that you will need to do to survive. You'll definitely want to read up on those elsewhere before you get serious about this game. It's pleasant to watch as you learn though. Anno 1800 is stunning to look at when completely zoomed out and holds up to heavy scrutiny when zoomed in as well. Flora, fauna, and buildings are designed with lots of character, especially the dwellings for your laborers, which are quite diverse. The typically beautiful water is also home to the only noticeable missteps in Anno 1800's graphics though. This wake effect is just ugly. The single-player campaign begins with you returning to the old world when your father is accused of treason. What follows is a tale of secret societies, murder, intrigue, and redemption that unfolds over roughly 20 hours of gameplay. It's not an especially novel story, but it's more than interesting enough to be a welcome distraction. That's not all the story available, though. Expeditions are a clever new addition to the Anno series that become available on the old world map in both single-player and sandbox mode. You're able to equip the ships you've made for a long journey to the second map, the New World, and as time passes you have to make decisions for the crew that play out like a text adventure. The variety of expedition scenarios add to the mid to late game, and they're a welcome distraction rather than an unwanted obligation. Sandbox mode plays out just like the campaign, but cuts the story quests and special events that color your interactions with the AI players and enables you to play online with others. In multiplayer, being able to communicate in real time with one of the other inhabitants also leads to more efficient ways to dominate the AI competitors or talk trash as you compete to outbuild one another. Anno 1800's moments of eureka, when you figure out production rhythms and layouts that have your colony operating in the green, are delightful. It's a beautiful game, with mechanics that experienced tacticians can maximize, with a well-crafted story-based campaign adding on to an already tried-and-true formula. Outright newcomers to this type of game will have a tough go at it, as important elements of Anno 1800 aren't given comprehensive tutorials, but diligence pays off in a big and addictive way. You reached a new milestone. For more city building and management, check out our reviews of Tropical 6, Frostpunk, and Two Point Hospital. And for everything else, stick with us right here at IGN. Introducing the all new Up It News! Don't touch it. What's wrong with you? Get corn snack. Game sucks. Right back. Up It News returns to IGN.com and YouTube this April.